Hey, what's going on my fellow idiots? Welcome back for another episode of Idiot Proof Cooking. So today I'm going to show you a great simple dinner recipe. It's a French recipe called Coq au Vin Blanc. And what that literally means is chicken in white wine. Now you can make it in red wine and then that just be Coq au Vin and that's the like original recipe. But if you want to make it in white wine like I do, it's Coq au Vin Blanc. And it is so good so good and super simple. So let's stop beating around the bush and let's just get into making it, shall we? The first thing we're going to do is get out a 12 inch cast iron pan, throw it on a burner on a medium heat, and we're going to fry up a whole pack of bacon cut up in the little strips. Now all you're going to do is just stir the bacon around for the next 5 to 10 minutes while it cooks to your desired level of doneness. You can cook it all the way to crispy or somewhere in between. I like mine a couple of degrees before crispy. But anyways, after you've cooked your bacon, pull it out of the pan with a slotted spoon so that you you leave all of the bacon grease still in the pan and then it's time to go get our chicken now typically Coco Vin will use a whole chicken and you dice it up into all of its little pieces but I find using chicken thighs to be a little bit more idiot proof so that's what I'm going to do and all we're doing is frying them for a minute or two per side and sprinkle down some salt and pepper on the chicken you're just looking to sear the chicken a little bit not looking to cook it all the way through so repeat the process with some more chicken thighs and then once that's all done, pull the chicken out. As you can see, you've developed a fond on the bottom of your pan. We are going to throw down a little bit more olive oil and then add in some vegetables, starting off with a large white onion diced up into medium small pieces. Similarly, two to three stalks of celery diced up into small pieces and then two large carrots diced up. We are just going to mix the vegetables all around in the pan for the next five to seven minutes until everything gets nice and fragrant. Once that's done, we're going to add in some garlic. I'm going to use three cloves of garlic and then just mince it into the pan. As always, don't forget to scrape down your mincer to get all of that extra garlic and then mix the garlic in with all the vegetables just for a minute or so. It doesn't take garlic that long to cook. Once that's done, it's time to deglaze our pan. So I'm going to use one cup of chicken stock, pour that into the pan and then use your wooden spatula and rub it along the bottom of your cast iron pan to gently lift the fond off the bottom of it. I'm just gonna use a towel here because the handle on the cast iron pan is super hot. So lift all the fond off the bottom of the pan and then it's time to go bring back our bacon that we cooked to pour it all in mix it in with all of the vegetables and then go get your chicken thighs back and nestle them in with all of the vegetables chicken stock and bacon this is coming together nicely once you've added all of your chicken back into the pan it's time to add in the van the wine that you're going to be using so I'm going to use four cups of Sauvignon Blanc you're going to want to use a dry white wine so Sauvignon Blanc is a good one to use like I said about four cups of it pour it into the pan and then it's time to add in some spices so I'm going to use a whole sprig of fresh rosemary and then three to four sprigs of some fresh thyme just make sure to nestle them into all of the liquids as well then I'm going to add in two three bay leaves again nestle them in from there I'm going to add in a good pinch of kosher salt and some freshly ground black pepper for taste from there all we do is add a lid onto the pan and let this all simmer for the next hour hour and a half on a medium low heat to let the chicken cook and all of the flavors work in together. Now towards the end of the simmering time, get out another frying pan, throw in some olive oil, and then we're going to cook up one to two dozen pearl onions and similar amounts of small button mushrooms. Now we want to cook these separately and towards the end because if we were to let them simmer in everything else over the hour and a half, they would just turn into a gigantic pile of mush. So just fry them around for like five to 10 minutes on a medium high heat. And then once those have cooked, it's time to finish off the Coco van. So pull out the rosemary and thyme stems and the bay leaves and then go add in your pearl onions and button mushrooms that you've cooked in another frying pan. All we're going to do now is just stir them in with everything else and look at how hearty this looks. 
Now I am going to add in a quarter cup of cream into the sauce to make it nice and creamy, stir it all together. And then the last step is to thicken up the sauce a little bit. So I'm going to use a tablespoon of cornstarch just with some hot water, pour all of that in, mix in the cornstarch over your medium low heat and allow the sauce to thicken up for the next three to five minutes. It's at this point in time, it's done and it's time to dig in. So let's head into the other room and taste test this. Look at how beautiful that is. You use the chicken thighs because they're super simple. They're idiot proof. You can't really dry them out. Chicken breasts tend to dry out. So if you if you wanna go traditional, you can use like the whole chicken and cut it up, but chicken thighs are way more idiot proof. And speaking of chicken thighs and just the Coco Van Blanc all together, let's just try this because it smells amazing. So I'm just gonna try a little bite here, but you know, official taste test time. All right, uh, there's a pearl onion, it's delicious. All right, going in for some chicken with some bacon and everything, like look at all the deliciousness in one dish. And yeah, that is so good. It is so hearty, just a ton of delicious flavors all together. The white wine really, really gives the chicken a nice flavor. Like you stew the chicken for an hour and a half in the white wine, it is perfect. Perfect. This is a super simple one pan recipe and I guarantee it if you make it at home you'll love it. It is awesome. It's a nice change up from the Coco Van when you use just like red wine. The white wine is its own flavor and it's quite nice. So give it a try. But anyways, let's call it there. I hope you liked this episode and if you did, why don't you drop me a comment, like the video, or even subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching Idiot Proof Cooking and we'll see you again next time.